All right, guys, so uh, today's a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna go with a vlog style because I am unboxing and um, installing my uh, new speakers for my setup. As you may have noticed, um, I believe in a couple of my recent videos, I have these speaker mounts that are set up and um, they're totally ready to go. So the speakers that I got are the JBL Loft 40s. And the reason I got these was simply because they were on a new egg shell shocker or something like that. So they were super cheap for what they are. Um, they were $110 shipped after taxes and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing on the tripod and um, get these guys uh, unboxed. All right, so here we go. Ah, so first off is we have an owner's manual. We've got some hard foam, some, ooh, these are useful. Uh, these are like rubber sort of um, pads for in case you're just setting the speakers directly on a table of some sort. So that's super useful. And then we have the speakers themselves. And then we have more pad and we have three of these, the silicone or the silica gel to uh, make sure there's no moisture in there. So get those out of the way. And now we can remove the bag that each speaker comes in and we see the speaker itself which is, uh, they're both identical. Um, yeah, basically just what you would expect from the speakers. Now, one thing to note with these, um, I am fully expecting to take off this front cover um, because I think the speakers in, in my mind anyways look better without the front covers. Um, I'll probably mount them first to see what I think about them, but that's sort of my plan. Um, let me know in the comments down below whether you prefer to leave these the speaker covers on or do you prefer to take them off and let the speakers just sort of be um, out in the open. Let me know in the comments down below. By the way, um, I didn't actually point this out, but with these speakers, um, and I'm not sure if this is a standard thing or if this is just these speakers, but for these particular speakers, if you're buying them, these front covers, they just pull off. If you just pull firmly straight on them, they will pop right off. Um, they sort of use just these sort of friction mounts um, with rubber to keep them attached firmly. So just give them a firm tug, they'll pop right off, no damage or anything. And this is sort of the glamour close-up that you get of the speakers. Okay, so these speakers are in fact done. You can see that I've taken the front covers off of both of them. And as you can now see, the mic's not facing the speaker, so you may or may not have heard that, but it, it does have the system sounds. So they are working and functional. Now, I do wanna point out a couple things with this setup. First of all, I am not running audio from the system through the mixer board. Um, I am just simply running it from a line from my um, computer straight into the uh, LePi amp. And um, if I turn down the ISO a little bit here, sort of see that a little better. Um, I will link this amp in the description below. It's a $30 amp, super good reviews. Um, and I've been nothing but happy with it, um, at least in initial setup and initial testing here. Um, it seems to do the job really well. Uh, this stereo or this speaker bar will be being completely removed, I believe. Um, and that's because this, this amp only has two outputs. 
So there's really no purpose of even having it um, in the way. Plus, it, it's extra desk space that I can get rid of. Um, I could probably wire this up if I really wanted to and keep it there as sort of a center speaker, but I'm not actually going to worry about that. The other thing that I really do like about this amp is it has two inputs. And if I sort of pop in back here, you can sort of see back there. Maybe if I can get it to focus. There we go. So on the left side, uh, sorry, on the right side, we have RCA ports or RCA, RCA audio rather. It also has an MP3 labeled audio, which is just a, that's just a 3.5 millimeter jack that I'm gonna run and I'll be able to use my phone and plug it directly into that and have a very quick, very convenient way to play my phone's audio over these lovely speakers. So um, without further ado, I do wanna go ahead and do a sound comparison between the old, the old Brits, which by the way, I did actually really like this bar. It was about $20. I'll link it in Amazon as, or the Amazon link down below as well in case you're interested in it. But it's a nice low profile uh, starter audio solution that's way better than the speakers like in the monitor, for example. And, and we'll go ahead and jump right into that comparison. Links for everything here is in the description below. So if you like this vlog style, go ahead and give me a like down below, uh, subscribe, share, all that great stuff helps me out a lot. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Hoosier Hardware, and I'll let YouTube go ahead and pick a video for your viewing entertainment. I'll see you in the next video, guys.